I know you got enough of that this past Saturday, but I had to do that shot again. And it's ultimately kind of funny when you consider the fact that a day like today would not be what most people would consider a nice day. Because, and don't, don't get me wrong, Saturday morning's video was, again, peaceful. Don't worry, I have a different word for today than peaceful. And, uh, because Lord knows I used that word enough as it was. And as sad as yesterday's video was, you know, it was still a beautiful, you know, background I had, you know, a nice clear blue sky. But honestly, being, uh, I should probably explain, being up here is going to be like a high for me no matter what. But that's not what I use for my high day. So let's see, my low for yesterday was, well, I guess my low is just sort of trying to get over the death of Father Lou Brown. That was... I mean, that made things pretty, pretty rough. So there was that. My high was, you know, my family being together, my grandparents, my cousin. You know, I got to see my nephews again. That was awesome. Love that. And I got to see my brother, my sister-in-law, of course. And I mean, all four, I mean, my brother, my sister-in-law, and my nephews are kind of a package deal. I kind of have to say, if I see one, it's like you know, I see all four of them. Um... Just a nice day. We got to go out boating for a little bit. It was fun. Nice boat ride. Actually, my nephews got to be in the boat as well. In fact, they actually wore the life jackets. I got them for, uh, believe it or not, the baby shower. Yeah, my gift at their baby shower, was, at my brother and sister-in-law's baby shower, was life jackets. So they could be out in the boat. So, yeah. It was the most original thing ever, even though I will admit my mom did sort of help me with the idea but you know it was actually really funny because actually i'll get to my active and my active kindness was you know trying to help out any way i can trying to help clean up everything you know getting drinks for everyone who wanted one stuff like that so uh good morning and happy labor day everybody yes today is labor day you know uh actually do you give a do you so do you show the flag on labor day oh well, i will yeah, there's, there's the there's our flag over there. So, the, the, can you see the flag? Ah, son of a. There it is. Okay, yeah. The, the, there, there's a flag. Okay. So, yeah. Sometimes you can't really tell when I turn the camera around where the camera's aiming at. Sorry. Um. Right. So actually, you can you can see the flag behind me. Okay. That that works. So um. Right. Uh. Where was I? Right. So um. In regards to uh, the baby shower, way back when, you know, my mom had called me and said, I think I know an idea. I, I think I have an idea for what uh, you should give your nephews. And then I'm like, what? And then she says, take a guess what it is. And no kidding, one of the questions I asked was, is it something you can wear? And she said, no. You wear life jackets. Oh, gosh. I mean, I love my mom, but come on, man. That's just, that's just common sense right there. Um, right, so, it, it was a wonderful day. Oh, got some, uh, got some skiers right there. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, even on a, even on a day like today, it's, uh, it's still nice. So, actually, I, I don't think I've ever actually said this before, and... I was alluding to it a little bit earlier, but while the last two days you know, were sunny, clear blue skies, maybe a cloud here or there, you know, maybe some occasional rain, but it was much later in the day, so it didn't really matter. They were wonderful, but it's being up here with weather like this, for some reason, I just find so very appealing. It's just so... I'm not going to say peaceful again because, again, Lord knows I used that word enough on Saturday. Tranquil. How's that? Tranquil. That's that's a better word, right? Um, and for a long time, I've tried to figure out why that is. And when I think 
of all the years I've been up here, being 30 at this point, this weather was always associated with a lot of good times and bad, all of which were very significant. I mean, if I was a kid right now, this weather is what I would associate with me having to go back to school in a couple of days, which be on the lookout for that video either tomorrow or Wednesday. Don't really know when at least children in my area start school. But uh, yeah, that uh, look forward to that video because I do have to give my uh, yearly advice for students going back to school because you know that uh, that is just something I've been doing for like the last two years. So why would I change that up now? Um, other times we'd be up here and nothing went wrong with weather like this, of course. Nothing went wrong. Nothing went bad. It was just a really good day, and I'd always be surrounded by, like, family. And being surrounded by family is much more significant than most people really do let on. So I guess, you know, there's that as well. So a lot of good and a lot of bad. But I think the one day I'll associate the most with weather like this, being up at Cuca Lake, and keep in mind, I'm trying to think of when this was, because this was definitely before I had, like, football and stuff in high school. Because I'd be playing, because if I was in high school, I'd be playing football right now. I think this might have been, like, 7th or 8th grade. For whatever reason, my mother wanted to visit my late, my late grandfather up here at his place at Cuca. And, you know, I was off of school that day because I do believe it was, I, I think it might have been Columbus Day weekend, like October. So, I mean, yeah, you can have weather like this in October, sure. And we ended up going to one of the 13 best places at Tuca Lake to go for a bite to eat for lunch, which was Bully Hill, which is a place I definitely do need to do a video at at some point. Someday. Anyway. Um, and the most appealing aspect about Bully Hill, outside the fact that it is a winery, and technically outside the fact that they don't actually serve dinner. Yeah, all they do is, like, breakfast, brunch, and lunch, and that's about it. Actually, I don't even know if they do brunch. But I know they do lunch at the very least, so there's that. And we were up here at Bully Hill, and again, the most, and the most appealing thing about Bully Hill that stands above all the rest of the 13 best places on Cuca Lake for a bite to eat is the view. The Bully Hill Winery all has, arguably has the best overall view of Cuca Lake because it's at the very tail end of Hammondsport, which is over that way. And from just the right angle, you get to see a large majority of everything leading up to where the bluff is and you can actually see a better view of where the bluff actually divides everything it's actually quite a sight and we had weather like this it was completely overcast the water was completely calm the water looked exactly like glass actually in fact it, it's kind of like this but it was a lot less rough if uh, you can sort of picture it not to mention, because of how high the view was, again, the water looked so incredibly dark. It was like that a nice dark shade of, like, gray and navy blue. It was just so beautiful. And because we were up here at around um, Columbus Day, we're, we're in fall, so that means leaves are changing colors. But there was just enough green for enough contrast between, you know, the traditional fall colors of red and yellow and orange and brown. Like, it was a nice even mix of that. And all the colors around, between the leaves and the trees and the clear, you know, calm waters of Cuca Lake reflecting the sky, which, again, is overcast. Like, you just couldn't beat it. And... Come to think of it, to this day, I think I actually remember what I had for lunch at Bully Hill, too. 
Bully Hill actually has pizza, so uh, I think we had pizza. So, yeah. That was really cool. And it's one of the main reasons why I hold Bully Hill in such high regard. Even though I haven't been there since... Probably since that very day. Again, I really do... I need to get rich and famous doing these videos. So then I'd be able to afford to do everything, you know? That'd be cool. That'd be pretty... That'd be dope, man. Although, speaking of dope... Um, all throughout this weekend... My mom... Well, actually, when my mom had her second knee replacement surgery it was my aunt slash godmother from colorado love you and uh she actually turned my mother on to tennis so like all throughout this weekend we've been watching like the u.s open for tennis and i gotta say it's actually kind of dope i mean i personally am not really going to look forward to watching tennis but you know it was something different it's something nice not to mention one thing i do watch you guys know me. I'm a foodie. So, of course, I watch Food Network. They were showing uh, Chopped, the uh, Beat Bobby Flay tournament last night, the finale. That was dope. Holy cow. Like, Bobby Flay almost didn't finish. And, uh, th and they beat Bobby, the guy beat Bobby Flay. That was really cool. And the, the, so the guy won, won, won like $50,000 or something. It was, it was sweet. Seriously, like... I know I don't really say this very often, or at all, but I really do like watching Chopped. Well, here's the thing. I like watching Chopped depending on, like, it, it sort of does depend a little bit on my mood. But, you know, I'll watch it. If it's on, like, yeah, why not? Because I really do like the competition aspect, and it's actually sort of a sect of reality television that I do enjoy. I mean... Yes, we all know reality TV gets a huge sort of bum rap for being like it rots your brains. It's so stupid. It ruined the medium of television and entertainment as a whole, which that's not entirely true. There is some reality TV show for everyone. I mean, it does for me, it doesn't even just go down and chop. I mean, I watch stuff like I watch stuff that's not even food related, like Pawn Stars, Dr. Pimple Popper botched kind of america's got i mean america's got talent sort of falls in that category a little bit so there's that um so really it just depends on you know what i'm in the mood for but i watch those shows sure why not i watch them up here at Cuca lake if i have to if it's a day where again not much is really going on so I guess in turn, actually, I could talk about what we had last night. Last night we had for dinner. It's actually quite funny because uh, my mom thought she got like two young turkeys because we had like you know, I guess you could say we sort of had Thanksgiving for dinner yesterday. But um, instead of two young turkeys, she got two young turkey breasts. Basically, the breasts that were attached to the uh, cavity, which does come to one advantage. My mom was able to make her stuffing, which honestly, Thanksgiving is definitely a mom food chronicle I really should do. Although, actually, now I'll, I, I think I'll wait till like think around Thanksgiving time to do that because, again, we're only on Labor Day, so yeah, well, yeah, let's celebrate Labor Day by talking about Thanksgiving. I was, well, actually, Thanksgiving isn't that far away. I'd say about two and a half months. Not bad. Although that does remind me we are near we are sort of in my opinion I would say October first is the like the true beginning of the holiday season because I mean some people are already contemplating putting up Halloween decorations now, which if you're a true fan of Halloween, I salute you. Don't get me wrong, I love Halloween, just I wouldn't really think to put up decorations this early. Anyway, um so, yeah, holiday season is technically approaching. I'm actually really excited because I love that time of year. I get to break out my Santa Claus hat when we get to December. Lots of stuff to do. And come to think of it, if I play my cards right, I think I know what I'll do on Thanksgiving before I go see everyone for dinner. But we'll have to see. For now, I'll just enjoy this.
this shot will never get old. And I hope, I hope it never gets old. It hasn't gotten old, right? Anyway. Uh, like, favorite chat, the subscribe button, follow me on social media, and share on YouTube. I am very humbled to this video for all of you guys who watch and enjoy today. I'm hopeful that we have a wonderful, wonderful Labor Day. Happy Monday, everyone. And remember, if you guys want to talk to channel, it's going to be here to Lindy and I'll be back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.